so let us come back and learn your stereoisomerism basically uh, the type of classification which we are going to study is geometrical isomerism how should i define geometrical isomerism geometrical isomer what did we define in ste uh, this in uh, the earlier one we said different in arrangement of atoms but here you are going to specifically use the word spatial arrangement that is the most important thing so it's a spatial arrangement of atoms around the atoms or your resin uh, uh, ions around the metal atom right this is the basic thing now nobody will ask you the definition but you should know what is the spatial arrangement now geometrical isomerism we are going to study for your grade 12 under square planar complexes as well as octahedral what is square planar that means it's other the other name given for square square planar is tetrahedral if you have a metal atom in the center one two three four there are four ligands arranging that means whenever they speak about square you have to arrange in all the corners of the square that is a simple thing when i say octahedral all the six corners are occupied let's start whenever i have to speak about square prana this is one type this is type 2 and type 3 now observe carefully metal atom is here and there are four ligands so square planar complex metal atom is here a to b c total four ligands here metal atom and four ligands but different let's write one example instead of metal atom i'm going to write pt instead of a2 i'm going to write nh3 taken twice instead of b2 i'm going to write cl2 right now i have to write the geometrical isomerism for this simple write the metal atom in the center <coughs> divide one two this is the geometry for square plan isn't it four here also one two three four now simple start writing nh3 is 2 now i i said the geometrical isomerism spatial arrangement of atom so due to the spatial arrangement it's going to form two types of isomerisms cis isomer and trans isomer <laughs> everywhere we'll be writing cis and trans simple now nh2 what are you finding i have one nh3 here i have one nh3 here one cl here one cl if the <coughs> particular ligands are on the same side look here nh3 is on the same side cl is on the same side this is called cis isomer the same trans isomer just see just you can just change the group here send the cl down and um, uh, ammonia above so what will happen nh3 and nh3 cl and cl just observe your uh, ligands are opposite to each other when they are opposite this is also opposite then this is called trans isomer cis on the same side trans on the opposite side let us write for m a to b c type so here again instead of metal i am going to take platinum instead of a2 i am going to take ammonia you have b and c <laughs> you can pick up anything cl but total should be four so since this cl i am taking i am going to take an ambidentate nuclear so ligand like this now i have to write cis and trans isomer of this simple write ph pt in the center square planar first draw the complex one more one two three and four yes now ammonia so i have to make cis on the same side i have to make trans on the opposite side so take this nh3 just write nh3 here one more nh3 now it is done because both are on the same side cis the leftover is cl the leftover is no2 now i have to draw trans hold this one and rotate it in this direction right so ammonia goes above so one nh3 is here one more nh3 is here cl is here and your no2 so this is trans on the opposite direction simple is it now let's come back and draw for m a b c d so four different ligands so write the metal let me take platinum now for a suppose i take a as ammonia b let me take it as pyridine c let me take it as chlorine d let me take it as bromine all the four ligands are around platinum so you have to be very careful here you will be getting three types of isomers how just see write platinum in the center always the geometry is tetrahedral four this is one this is two this is three Let's see how am i going to draw you can draw anywhere not a problem but you have to be careful not repeating the same isomer suppose if i start with ammonia here right let me see first i'm going to take pyridine 
left over you can fill chlorine and bromine now see i'm going to write an isomer exactly i'm holding this ammonia here only i'm rotating it here so what will happen cl comes here py is here and bromine you can write here i'll tell you the difference now you hold this and rotate now what will happen ammonia is still existing here bromine is here yes bromine has come down cl is here and py is here now observe carefully what are we seeing here in this case <coughs> ammonia is a is trans to we are going to speak about trans here because all are four different right you can't speak any cis isomer here so ammonia is trans to pyridine 1 ammonia is trans to chlorine 2 ammonia is trans to bromine one, 3 so three trans isomers you'll get remember that never you you can't because all four are different you can't make cis so we are going to write trans you can clearly write here ammonia you could write in words i don't have place ammonia trans to this ammonia trans to this ammonia trans to this so this is your geometrical isomerism for square planar complexes so remember cis means same trans means opposite